What's up, MFFLs? Harrison Graham here, back with another episode of Dallas Mavericks Today by Chat Sports. Hope everybody had a good Memorial Day weekend. Let's get you caught up on the latest Mavericks rumors. According to Mark Stein, uh, Dallas has no interest in a D'Angelo Russell sign-in trade should Kyrie Irving want to go to the L.A. Lakers. Here's Stein discussing this, uh, saying league sources say the Mavericks would have no interest in a signing trade with the Lakers that Features D'Lo is the primary Dallas-bound player. All indications are that the Mavericks remain intent on re-signing Irving. And look, let's be honest. It, sure, the day may come where Kyrie says, hey, I'm not re-signing, I want to go to the Lakers. Uh, and that's fine, but that doesn't mean you should just, yeah, we'll take D'Lo and uh, some scraps to make that happen. Uh, that, that just isn't uh, good business. Now, if there's nothing you can do to get Kyrie to come back, uh, maybe you work out some sort of sign and trade, but I don't think just settling for D'Angelo Russell is a good plan. Uh, I think we saw in this playoffs, uh, he's not uh, a player uh, that is, leads to winning, especially as a top two or three guy on your roster. Uh, obviously, Kyrie bringing him back is going to be the focus. Doesn't mean you're going to get him back. He may sign with the Lakers or someone else, but um, there's no reason to help facilitate that. I'll just leave it like that. Now, Tim Cato of The Athletic, uh, had this to say. He says it requires tact, but the Mavs should simply tell Irving up front what contract they would like for him to sign. And while he certainly has the right to leave, they don't plan to assist any other team in acquiring him. They have the most appealing offer. And that's the way they should operate. Say, look, Kyrie, we can offer you the most. If you want to go elsewhere, good luck finding a deal of that caliber. We're not going to help you do it. So um, I think Dallas is kind of approaching this like we know we screwed the pooch with Jalen Br Brunson. Uh, we're going to do everything we can to bring Kyrie Irving uh, back to Dallas. Um, it'll be interesting. I mean, would the Lakers offer Kyrie and Max? Are they willing to lose uh, some of their role players to make that happen? I guess time will tell. Uh, but obviously for the Mavericks, the goal is to keep Kyrie Irving. As soon as they made that trade, that was always going to be the goal. Like, you don't make that move that, you know, is – met with some controversy publicly without committing, right? Like, that, unless it was going to go so poorly like the Rondo deal back in the day where just by the end of the season, it's just obvious that both sides need a breakup, uh, you were always going to want to bring him back, uh, and that did not happen. Like, Kyrie played pretty well, acted well for the most part, so uh, I think uh, re-signing him is obviously going to be the priority. Now, what do you guys think? Chime in. Will Kyrie remain a Dallas Maverick? Type M for yes, he will remain with the Mavs, or... Type O for other, he will sign elsewhere. And if you think he leaves, let us know what team you think he goes to down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. The NBA offseason is kicking into gear. Only two teams are not in offseason mode. Congratulations to the Denver Nuggets and uh, the Miami Heat uh, for uh, making the NBA Finals. But uh, we're in offseason mode here at Mavericks today, so don't miss a thing. And my offer still stands. Once we get to 22,000 subscribers, I will chug a beer here on the show. So want to help us get there go ahead and hit that subscribe button let's talk coaching rumors are the Mavs closer to hiring Frank Vogel as an assistant coach with Nick Nurse going to the Sixers that leaves three head coaching openings left in the NBA right now and if you look at them Phoenix Suns Toronto Raptors Detroit Pistons I think out of these three the only one I could potentially see is Detroit uh but I also don't know if I could even see that one because you think of Vogel's stint uh, with the Orlando Magic years ago trying to jumpstart that franchise. It went disastrous. Like, it did not go well. Would Phoenix, a win-now roster, make sense? Maybe it worked up pretty well in L.A. briefly for Vogel. Toronto, I don't really see that one. So maybe Phoenix, maybe Detroit. But as these openings close, uh, it's more likely that uh, the Mavericks would be able to attain uh, one of the top uh, assistant, uh, potential assistant coaches on the market. Vogel obviously has a ton of head coaching experience. Uh, he was the head coach with the Lakers when Jason Kidd was his top assistant. So uh, I think that would absolutely be uh, a, a great fit because they know each other. They, uh, you know, can bounce off each other pretty well. I think it's obvious that the Mavs would like to bring him here. Obviously, Vogel's going to uh, do his due diligence and try to uh, – get a head coaching job, but if not, I think uh, landing on the Mavericks bench is uh, definitely a very high possibility, and I think Vogel can help Kid on the X's and O's side and uh, just be uh, a good resource for Jason Kidd uh, on that bench, because let's be honest, Jay Kidd struggled this year with X's and O's, late game execution, uh, rotations. I think that's an area Vogel can help as well. I think uh, 
Uh, Jake had really missed uh, Kakashkov this year as well. Who Didn't he just uh, land somewhere, Hoop? Uh, I think he just landed uh, with the team as an assistant. I have to double-check that. But uh, getting another X's and O's coach uh, on the staff, I think, uh, would be helpful. You've got Sean Sweeney, uh, Jer Jared Dudley, Darrell Armstrong, Darrell Armstrong, and Christy Tolliver. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I think Vogel clearly would plug in as that top assistant on this staff. I'm sure Cuban would pay him well also, so I think that could be a win. When now, if disaster were to strike and uh, midseason – uh, the Mavs decided to can Jason Kidd. Well, having a guy like Frank Vogel sitting there uh, would be helpful, right? Gives you insurance, uh, a guy with head coaching experience that you wouldn't have to completely tank a season for. Uh, we've seen that in the past, midseason firings and uh, teams rallying behind uh, uh, the top assistant. So uh, we'll see. Obviously, we don't want that to happen. We want things uh, to go well next year for Jay Kidd and the fellas. But uh, it would be nice to have uh, a head coaching experienced assistant on your staff if that a situation were to arise. Now, do you want Frank Vogel in Dallas? Type Y for yes, or you can type in for no. Uh, go ahead and let us know in the comments section down below. Before we continue, let's shout out our sponsor of the day. That is BetUS. Perfect place to go bet on the NBA Finals. Chatsports.com slash MFFL, promo code MFFL. The values with the Miami Heat, but they are major underdogs. Uh, Look, barring a significant injury, I would say, to Nikola Jokic or Jamal Murray, uh, the Nuggets are heavy favorites here. I think Denver in five or six is probably going to be the outcome. But maybe you feel differently. If you want to go bet on the series, go bet on individual games. Bet US is the place to do it. Chatsports.com slash MFFL. Promo code MFFL game one Thursday night. Uh, things get underway, so uh, be checking that out. We'll also be live on our main chat sports cover or YouTube channel for uh, uh, NBA Finals uh, live analysis so i'll be on the lookout for that okay uh mavs are they big game hunting once again we've never been down this road before have we uh we have and it uh, typically has not worked out brian windhorse says the mavs are trying to go all in on adding some significant pieces i mean look obviously they're going to try and shake things up after this past season here's what wendy had to say i don't think we should discount the dallas mavericks even though they said we're not going free agent shopping uh, they could make that 10th pick in the upcoming draft available, and they have some contracts they can trade. They're hunting for a big-name, complimentary piece to go aside Luka Doncic and keep Kyrie Irving in the fold. Look, uh, <laughs> we've uh, been here before, but just let's just think about it, right? You get Kyrie back, so you got your duo. Who's that third piece? Well, you don't have that, and I don't think in today's NBA you, you want to live in a – three max contracts world. So I would like to get a guy that's a little bit less than a max. So you wonder who that could be. I don't want DeAndre Ayton, but that's a guy that could could be in the fold with the number 10 pick. Uh, you know, DeMar DeRozan, 28 million next year, one year on, on his contract. Could you get him for like number 10 and Josh Green? Would you do that? I mean, salary filler, throw them Tim Hardaway or Bertans, whoever. I'd consider that. Paul George, look, uh, I know he's a, he's, he's a max guy. He's I would break the rule for him. I think he would uh, be a great third option here. I know he's got injury concerns. Ananobi, I think he more fits that bill of he's not a max guy, but he could be a, th a third piece guy who can uh, defend and uh, give you you know 15 to 20 points. Jordan Poole, I don't know about that fit. Your, your two best players already aren't great defenders. Do you want your third guy being a bad defender as well? Uh, but he's a name to monitor on the trade market. Uh, trade candidates will kind of clear up on who is and isn't available once the NBA Finals conclude. Uh, we're still kind of in that speculation rumors mode, like not a ton of reports yet on who is and who isn't available, but it will ramp up in the next couple of weeks, uh, which is why you should subscribe to the channel. All right, uh, before we let you go, name a player the Mavs should trade for. If you could get anybody that's Somewhat realistic, like uh, I don't think the Suns are trading you, Kevin Durant. Uh, name a player you would like to see in the Mavericks trade for, and uh, we will see you guys soon here on Mavericks Today.